there's quite a few already uh, made uh, example presets uh, that comes with VPT. Sometimes you get this kind of messy thing, you just need to make uh, one of the layers active and it disappears. So here is just an example of four layers using just one source. This is what it looks like in the layers section. This is what it looks like for layer one. This preset also uses the same source but is using uh, the possibility to crop uh, a source so you only use part of the source as your texture for a layer. So each layer uses uh, just a different section uh, of the original source. This is something which could be also useful if you are on a Mac and use Siphon that you can use a tiled source so you actually get multiple uh, sources from one single Siphon source. This is an example of uh, a mask being applied. You see the M appear, and you see here that an example mask is the chosen mask. This is an example of the circular mask, the vignette. This is an example of the example mask with a mask blur applied. So you can compare it to the one without the mask blur here. An example of the edge blend and you can see another layer showing through. Let's actually uh, turn off the frames in the output window so you can see the output better there and also the just leave it like this, like you would see it on a Windows computer. Yeah, so this is an example of Edge Blend. Uh, let's move on to the next one. This is an example of using one layer as a mask for the second layer. So in layer one, there's a mask. It is inverted. And also the, the color of the layer is black. So if I turn off the inversion, you would see uh, this is actually the content of uh, the top layer. But I want it to behave so that the layer underneath containing the, the noise is coming through this mask so I turn on the inverted mask. Okay I've selected the still image preset and when you want to work with still image there's uh, something important to remember. If I go to the source section you see that I've selected VPT which is a PNG image. When you're working with the still image, you should make sure that uh, in the source control for that movie source that uh, it is selected as a still image and not as a video uh, file. This is basically uh, because when you are running a video file, it's being updated whenever there's a new frame. With the still image you need to tell VPT to update the, the image regularly and the rate at which it is updated you can uh, select or choose uh, here. So the default is that it's refreshed every 100 milliseconds, so 10 times a second. Here's an example of mixing two sources and this is using uh, the mix section, so if we just go to the mix section currently active mix is one mix which is the first mixer it's mixing source one which is this video here and the noise one of the noise generators which is here so one of one source and the noise source is mixed using uh, overlay mode and this here is the amount of the different two sources Here's an example of having uh, the mix 
sources in one layer and having uh, a source going through the effects chain in the other one. So you can see here that uh, layer 2 has the mix source, but if I click on layer 1 to make it the active one, you see that this source is the X01 cell. And where does this come from? Let's go to the effects section. So this effect module takes an input from one of the, the input sources. I have here chosen select from any of these and I've selected the 101 source I could have chosen the the noise source but it's not so interesting to look at I've applied a motion blur filter I've adjusted the brightness com uh, contrast and saturation and I've also uh, applied the scale bias effect and uh, important I route the the modulated uh, video out through uh, one of these uh, exits here and I've chosen to use the X01 cell as my exit from the effect one chain. So here's an example where I use two mixers to move one source from one layer to the other. So in preset 18 I have the noise in layer 1 and the video in layer 2. In uh, layer 19 I have the opposite. So then I could easily make uh, a fade between uh, preset 18 and 19 to move the sources. Again, the speed is really slow when I'm uh, recording for the tutorial here, but uh, the principle is like this. Okay, uh, I could also choose to uh, change between these two uh, sources uh, by uh, using an oscillator to actually animate or automate this uh, inside VPT. So. Let's go to the LFO section. You can see that LFO 1 is already turned on, but nothing is happening because I need to turn on the LFO master switch. And now you can see the, the waveform is changing here, and you can also see the, that things are going on here. So why is this working? We need to go to the router to, do, to see what's going on. This preset is uh, linked to this router setup. So the same controller controls both mixer 1 and 2 and the mix level. The first one controls is mapped 0 to 1 so when the controller value is at 0 the mixer is at zero and when the controller is at one the mixer is at one. However in the second row it's the opposite. If you have a look at what's going on in the, in the actual mix module you can see that they are just basically going back and forth but uh, at the opposite position. So I can then affect the rate that's what's going on here for instance. I could also choose a different type of waveform. Etc. 